Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. Um, this is paper um, two, pure mathematics paper two, from the October 2022 um, International A Level at Excel exam. This is um, a paper that I'm going to go through question by question. I'm not going to go through the whole paper in one session. I'm going to save each question separately so that I can um, categorize it according to topic as well as according to um, paper. Um, so I'm going to go through each question one by one. Okay. So uh, as we know, these papers are one and a half hours long, 75 marks. Okay. And let's just get started with question number one here. So question number one says that given that a, b, and c are integers greater than zero, such that c equals b plus two and a plus b plus c equals ten, prove by exhaustion that the product of a, b, and c is always even. Okay, so here this is one of those questions on proofs, which is one of those new topics which a lot of students, uh, you know, have kind of some sort of fear of. There's nothing to be afraid of. This is actually a very easy question. If you read the examiner's report, you can see that many students left it blank because they were maybe afraid of this question or they're not used to seeing questions like this. And a lot of times when students do past papers, past papers, past papers, if something comes up that looks a bit different than what they're used to seeing, they get like, you know, freaked out. And they, um, they you know, sometimes like in, the, in this case, a lot of students le left it out. So you shouldn't just uh, rely on just past papers, past papers, past papers only. You know, you should also, you know, think about the topics you're doing, do questions from the book, all right? And, um, you know, and just think about, you know, the questions that's being asked. Sometimes it might be in a slightly different format. Just read it properly. Don't just think, oh, this looks completely different. Let me just leave it. All right, so now it says, given that A, B, and C are integers greater than zero. So integers greater than zero means starting from one. Integers, we have to understand the word integer. It means a number which is a whole number. Okay, greater than zero, so you're going to be like one, two, three, four, and so on. Whole numbers, positive whole numbers. Such that C equals B plus 2 and A plus B plus C equals 10. Prove by exhaustion that the product of A, B, and C is always even. You may use the table below to illustrate your answer. Okay, so in this particular case here, we've got to, um, sh we know that C is always 2 more than B. Okay, and they've kind of helped us out this, here. Because um, they basically said, all right, let's start with B equals 1. Let's call B1. Okay, so that means, as we can see from here, C is equal to B plus 2. So let's just take this down here so we can see what's happening. Okay, so we have C equals B plus 2. So this is going to be 2 more than B. So that's 1 plus 2, which is 3. And here C is going to be 2 plus 2, which is 4. Now, we know that the sum of these must be 10. So if B and C add up to give you 4, A must be 6 because we have a plus 1 plus 3 equals 10 which means a is going to be 10 minus 4 which is 6 and in the case where you have a plus 2 plus 4 equals 10 then we have a is going to be 10 minus 4 which is 10 minus 6 sorry 10 minus 6 which is 4 okay and in the case we can th think of another case let's t take the case where b is equal to 3 right, they're going up one let's see what happens this is going to be 2 more than 3 which is 5 and that gives you 8, so this must be a 2, because we have, they have to add up to 10. As we can say, a plus 3 plus 5 equals 10. That means a is going to be 10 minus 8, which is 2. So over here I'm going to write, it says, it, says, it says, prove by exhaustion that the product of a, b, and c is always even. Okay, so those are um, the values of a, b, and c. Now, if I continue, like, like for example, if I make this 4, then this is going to be 2 more than 4, which is, that's going to be... Um, six okay and then a is going to become zero now a can't be zero because it says here that a that the, the integer is greater than zero so i can't go more than four with b okay i can't go less than zero with b i can't go more than four with b i can't go more than three with b in fact i can't reach four because you'll get four then one of these integers becomes zero so i'm going to cross this out if you write this down you must cross it out to show that you're not including this Right, so I can see that you know a can't be zero. You can, none of them can be uh, zero. So the the only numbers you can have possibly for b are one, two, and three. Okay, and therefore c will be three, four, and five, and a will be six, four, and two. Those are the only possible combinations we can have. So it's telling us that 
Given that a, b, and c are integers greater than zero, show that c equals b plus two, uh, such that c equals b plus two and a plus b plus c equals 10. Prove by exhaustion that the product of a, b, and c is always even. So all we have to do now, we can add another column to this. We have a times b times c, the product. It's one of the things that I mentioned in the examiner's report that a lot of people, they took the product as the sum. No, the product is when you multiply them together. So we have to know the meaning of these words, right? So product means when you multiply the numbers together. So you have 6 times 1 times 3, that's 18. And then you have 4 times 2, which is 8. 8 times 4, which is 32. And you have 2 times 3, which is 6. And 6 times uh, 5, which is 30. So we can see that this is even. And this is also even. And this is also even. So we can say that uh, we've shown this now. But one of the things that you must always do in um, these proof questions, you must write a statement of proof. So you can say, okay, um, we have shown for all possible values, for all possible values of A, B, and A, B, and C, of A, B and C that their product is always even. So you must make a statement. Okay, even if it's therefore always even or something, but it's better to make a statement like this. We have shown for all possible values of A, B and C that their product is always even and that gets you the full marks. Okay, if you leave out a statement at the end, you will lose definitely a mark from this even if you did this correctly all right so there we have the answer to question number one from this pure mathematics p2 paper about proofs um, other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here other questions from this particular topic of proofs can be found in the um, p2 proofs can be found in the playlist that will appear over here you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link Thank you for watching and see you soon.